Hi everyone and thanks so much for joining me. This is another bullet journaling video, playing with me, set up video for the month of February and I hope that you enjoy it. For this month it's normally regarded as a romantic month because of Valentine's Day coming up on the 14th so what I wanted to do was sort of emulate that with all things romantic and I immediately thought of Paris and France so the designs that I'm using here are sort of chic and Parisian and what I'm doing here is a quick outline of a chandelier. For this video I decided to do the setup for the entire month so if you're struggling for ideas on weekly layouts and things to include in your pages stay tuned because you might actually see a few designs that could work for you. As you'll see, I've outlined everything lightly in lead pencil. I'm prone to a few mistakes, so if you are too, I do encourage you to do the same. Next, I'm doing my habit tracker page. I've decided to stick with the same one that I used in my January setup. Um, if you want to watch the video for that, I'll leave a link in the right hand corner so you can check that out. But basically, I found it really useful and I don't see much point in fixing something that isn't broken. So it works for me and I'm really looking forward to using it for this month too. This next page is my month at a glance or monthly log, something like that. It's a good way to see things that are coming up without having to flick through all the pages. Sticking with the theme of all things romantic, I decided to sketch in the Eiffel Tower and stick to the theme of France and Paris. And it was also a good way to fill up this otherwise empty corner. I would love to know everyone else's theme for February if you've chosen one. Maybe leave a comment down below and let me know what you've chosen. There's a few months that are a little bit difficult for me to figure out what theme to assign to. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do for March. So if you have any ideas, maybe leave a comment down below as well. And you might even help out someone else that's in the same boat as me. Alright, so in this page I'm drawing out the calendar for the month. It's a really good way to assign different tasks to a specific date and not double book yourself, which I am prone to do on occasion. <laughs> on the other page, I've also set out things like goals, to-dos, um, reminders, notes. Some of these things are important to do this month but haven't been assigned dates. And I can also go ahead and add to it later on too. In the top right hand corner, I also decided to sketch in a French style street lantern. I feel like these designs add a touch of vintage romance chic appeal. And I like it because I didn't have to overdo every single page in order to get that feeling. The curvy font is also something that is tying in the romantic side of things. It kind of reminds me of the penmanship that you might see in a vintage love letter or something like that. Alright, so now we're moving on to the first week of February, which is technically only four days long. 
So in this case, I dedicate one page to half the week and then I use the other page on the right for a nice romantic quote. Next, I'm trying out one of my older layouts from last year's bullet journal. For this one, I chose Je t'aime, which I'm pretty sure is French for I love you, at least I hope it is. This particular vertical layout is really good if you are one of those people that likes to separate your days into three parts for the morning, the afternoon and the evening. This next layout that I am drawing up has one week assigned to the left hand page and on the right hand page is a romantic quote from William Shakespeare. This particular spread is pretty different to anything that I've done so far. I've got the monthly calendar up on the left hand corner, but the majority of the layout is going to be in the center of the two pages. And in the bottom right hand corner, I added a little illustration of a vintage birdcage. And finally, we have the last week for February. Just like the first week, it's kind of half a week with only three days. So I followed the same formula by just adding three days on the one page to the left and using the right page for my gratitude log. Again, I chose to decorate this layout using a very simple design of a vintage mannequin. And I decided not to add anything in regards to illustration on the right hand page because I want to leave as much room as I can for all the things I'm grateful about. The gratitude log is something that I really have a lot of fun filling out every day and it's a really good habit to get into. This last spread is going to take up two pages. It's dedicated to the memories of February 
and I intend to fill it up with little illustrations and typography that's going to record all the milestones of that month. Now I've decided to add in a flip through of the entire month that I've just drawn up. I think it's always nice to add a flip through at the end of the video so you can see sort of how cohesive everything is and how the entire monthly layout flows together. I'll leave you now to enjoy the video and also the relaxing music, but before I do go, I'll just take a moment to say if you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me and I love hearing back from all of you. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye bye.